Hey, so it's New Year 2018. You can tell it's New Year because Easter eggs are in the shops. If you're watching this right now as it goes out, chances are this is the busiest time of year for the gym. Everybody, all the New Year resolution people are piling into the gym. It's heaving, it's exciting, you've got your New Year resolutions to meet. And everybody hates you. <laughs> If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that alarm bell so you're notified of all my updates and this stuff that I do. And um, yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so it's that time of the year when you've set your new year resolution, you're off to the gym, you a very good chance you're looking at gyms right now even as you watch this. And it's great, you're excited, you're a little bit scared, you've, you know, you're gonna do this new thing for the first time or maybe this year you're really going to do it you're really going to stick to those resolutions because only now you can lose weight and if you're in the gym you're like oh no i can't park it's going to be so busy it's going to be full of people who haven't been before and i can't get onto my machine oh it's going to be so busy i don't like it there's literally an onslaught of new members surging in through the door taking all the stations running around confused the confused people don't know what to do. They're scared because everybody's looking at them and judging them. Ah, oh, what a time of the year to be in the gym. Well, here's the thing. Don't worry. You're in two camps here. If you're new to the gym, you're scared, you're nervous, you don't know what to do. If you're experienced in the gym, you hate everybody that's coming. But look, we were all at the first time in the gym. I spent years terrified. I used to do heavy lifting. I've just become the person that said what I used to do. There's certain types of people that will tell you, oh, that's another story. <sighs> Anywho, when I transitioned, it was my big social anxiety was because I lost all my strength. I couldn't do stuff anymore. I still had the technique, but I just couldn't lift heavy weights anymore. I lost strength because of, you know, hormones. If you're new to this, it's terrifying. We get it. Also, you'll find these people in the gym and I've been there. I've complained about the new year resolution people starting. You can't get into the gym. It's heaving. It's busy. Nobody knows what to do. So look, here's what we need to do. Help the people who are just starting. Now I've got, I've got five top tips here for people who are just starting or maybe if you haven't been for a while this will help you get back into it and I'll get onto that a little later. I really really know it's intimidating but you've got to stick to it. Everyone fails their resolutions. It's like it's okay. I, I guess it is. What's the point of even starting if you're going with a mindset that you're probably going to quit soon anyway so so what? So get out of that mindset. Either don't go or make a commitment to go. And if you're going already, help the people who are just joining. Don't make it even harder by complaining about the New Year Resolution people. And I know, and we all know that this is when gyms make the most of their money because they sign you up for the whole year. You vanish after February, but you're still paying. We've all done that. So look, here are five quick tips on how to stay motivated and commit to your gym target. Don't be just another New Year resolution that's given up by February. Here's how you can go the distance and, and keep going. So number five, don't set overly ambitious goals. Don't tell yourself in, in a month's time you're gonna be like Arnold Schwarzenegger. If you're new to the gym, you need to figure things out. It'll take you months to get into it and be prepared. You are not going to love it right away. Most people hate the gym when they first start. It takes about two or three months before you start to enjoy it. So don't set goals which are ridiculous. Initially just set goals to go and then work on your goals once you've been going for a few weeks. Number four, and this one really helps me, Track your progress. Use a heart rate monitor, get an Apple Watch or a Fitbit or any of the number of fitness trackers on the market at the moment because I find metrics and seeing my progress and I've got a really cool graph on my fitness pal that shows like, like 16 stone of loss. Do that. It's sometimes you can't see the difference. Other people will say they can, but when you can measure it, when you can see the inches and the pounds and the fitness, measure your data as soon as you can. If you're serious about going, invest a few quid in a good fitness tracker. It works like a charm. It really works for me, I promise you. Number three, and an also surprisingly important one. Don't join the first gym you see. Join a gym that you like. Don't go for the best special offer. Obviously, you've got to go for something that's affordable and works for you and is within range. I've quit gyms before because I simply didn't like them. Some gyms are your old school sweat and sawdust style gyms. Some are more modern fitness centers. Some are really heavy about lifting. Some are spas. 
So find what you want. I personally find a fitness center with a good set of free weights as well. It gives me a good range of flexibilities and it's a bit more family. So find somewhere that you like. Check places out. Although right now there are some amazing deals available. Free signups, short term contracts, etc. Number two, a bit of a contentious one. Get a gym buddy or possibly not. I love training with a friend. I love training with my coach. I love training with someone. And it can really help because if you're both setting goals together and you can partner each other and you can spot yourself in lifts and check each other's technique and things, it's great. You can also find that if your friend doesn't go, you don't go. And it can also knock you out of training. So be careful about training with a fitness partner. I enjoy it. But you'll also find that the fitness partner can be your Achilles heel. You can pull each other down too. So make sure that you still train on your own if your fitness partner lets you down. It's fairly common for this to happen. Number one, and this is probably the biggest, most important one of all, removing invisible barriers. Everyone does this. We all will find an excuse to not go to the gym. Oh, it's too cold to go to bed. I can't be bothered getting my clothes ready. I, I don't know what lunch to pack. I don't know. Ah nothing it makes you just procrastinate and you end up not going so remove those barriers pack your food plan your meal the night before put your gym clothes out before you go to bed so they're on the radiator nice and warm as soon as you get up in the morning whatever but do your prep one of the, my biggest problem is work i tend to work very very long hours and if i've got tasks to do if i know i've got project work i have to finish and i also have to go to the gym in the morning I will often skip my morning gym session to get a head start of the work. And I know I could do the work later. I'm home by seven. But that's, that's my problem. That's the invisible barrier that I sometimes have to get around. We all find excuses. So work on ways to get past those invisible barriers. So if you take those top five tips, that should really help you stick to your resolution. And seriously, trust me, okay, when it comes to being scared of going to the gym, when you fart after you've done a very deep back squat, there's no way back from that. People witness you farting after a very heavy back squat and you're on the floor with 100 kilos on your shoulders. Now that's something to be scared of but don't worry about going to the gym for the first time especially this time of year because lots of people are going to the gym for the first time this year and it's fine. Yes everyone hates you especially those who can't find a parking space because it's full of people who aren't going to be there much longer. Don't be one of those people and as I said if you have been training for a while help out the people. If you see someone that's new, we say, hey, how are you doing? Can I help out? It, sometimes it can be a little bit unwelcome, but try to feel the situation out. We were all new at the gym at some point. So there it is. That's my new year resolution. Let's be nice to the new starters and new starters. Don't worry. Find some friendly faces and it'll be fine. So how was that top five? I hope that was useful for you. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, dislike, etc. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the very next video. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah.